Hey everyone, it's your boy Flakes. In this video, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my stash. So, I decided after seeing some videos and as some people asking me to do a video like this, I decided to do it. Why not? I think it's a an interesting idea, and yeah, why not do it? I mean, many of you guys probably that watch my YouTube videos don't watch my Twitch, and maybe you want to see what my stash is looking like this early on in the in the wipe. So, yeah, I mean, let's get right into it. So first off, I wanted to show off my, my, my upgrades and my quarters. So you can see I'm level 10 quarters. I've got max stash, max pockets. I don't really care much for this, the, the, the gear printer. And I'd, I don't, the, only, the only ones I really care about in the quarters is the, the Aurum generator, the generator rate. I don't really want to do any more of the cap because it's just wasting upgrades. The supply crate's pretty useless. May, for you guys, it might be good, but for me, it's pretty damn useless considering what my stash is gonna look uh, is looking like, and you guys are gonna see. But yeah, so I'd go for Aurum generator rate, max stash, and max pockets. Next up, I want to show that I've got um, almost all level twenty uh, on the traders, so eighteen, twenty, twenty. I just can't really be asked running to Coral Love to sell stuff. This is what my stats is looking at r right now. Of season two and here we go here's what the stash is looking like so as you can see I've been I've, I've been forging quite a bit as well so a lot of these bags I have forged but a lot of it is from PvP and as you can see I've got a, a lot of them are really good perks on this one's okay that one's a, a, a pretty bad that one's alright. This one's alright. So this one's good for PvP as it reduces weight of consumables and ammo. Well, not as much because at the end when you're min-maxing for loot, you're actually drop ammo and consumables. So for PvP, you really want to go for a perk like this one, for example. 40% reduced weight of all items. I, I actually made a super, a super speed fucking loadout that I might make a video on. It's literally full stamina and less stamina consumption. It's pretty crazy. This one's pretty good for PvP as it reduces weight of weapons and gear carried in the backpack. This one is also pretty good. Look, this is this is a god bag right here. This is a god backpack right there. That's crazy. That one's okay. And then this one's this is probably my best bag that I have in my stash. This one right here is probably the best bag I have in my stash. It's crazy. And then yeah, I've got a few purple ones that also have perks on. Like this one's pretty good. I've got good bags. Alright, on to the guns. Here are my legendaries. I got two comrades from PvP. The others was from completing the quests. All all guns here are from PvP, by the way. I did not buy a single weapon with K-Marks that I have in my stash. Basilisks. Uh, two rows of Arbiters. The Arbiters post-nerf is a bit... Um, it's a bit bad. The Kinetic right now only has a spot by... Uh, the place it has is by using it to team tag with teammates. Other than that, the gun's pretty much dead. And Basilisk is probably the best long-range gun in the game now. Core. Core has always been one of my personal favorites. I'm loving the Brute this season. So, And as you can see, a lot of other people are also loving it as I'm stacking up a load of them. An absolute load of them. I usually sell all my Advocates and Shatter Guns. I only have a few, just on the off chance I'm actually going to use it. I forged... I got a, a, a Legendary Forged Shield from, um, from a... An abyss alloy and i think it was it was this one right here which is pretty bad and then i killed someone for this forge shield this legendary shield so yeah that was pretty good then i've got a lot of good armors this one's pretty good fast 30 percent faster stim is the best roll on that perk so it's pretty pretty crazy honestly this is one of my my personal favorite ones i wish i could have gotten a better roll on the bonus to stim but it's a good chest plate nonetheless. And I got a bunch of 
random parts that I've gone from PvP. Bunch of random perks, as you can see. I would never have crafted a lot of these, so... This is part of my, my stamina set, as you can see. My go-to perks is definitely what I have on this one. Faster stim and bonus to stim. And then in my purple sets, there's a lot, a lot from PvP that people just upgrade their armor. So here, 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 as you can see, this is my go-to perks on the purple armor. The purple armor is pretty meta now, since the Kinetic Arbiter can no longer one-shot a purple helmet. So the reason to upgrade from purple to exotic is actually really, really low. So you may as well just run purple. And since you don't need a Ledium to upgrade at the, for uh, the forge, I definitely go for these perks on purple armor. It's definitely the meta after, after this patch, after today's patch. So yeah, I got plenty of purple armor. I got uh I got this helmet from PvP. As you can see, they put no perks on it, which is a bit sad. Three night vision helmets from quests. And then all my exotic helmets that I've been packing and getting from PvP. I have like a row that was crafted. The rest was all from PvP. I'm saving up here, look, this is my go-to on my helmets. Fast stims and max HP. So to get my go-to on the armor and helmet, you just need to use four spine briars. You make two stacks of two in the inside the forge when you're upgrading. And then I have uh, like five or six helmets with enhanced alien hunter vision, which I'm saving up for when they re-enable it. I can't wait. And then that's pretty much it. A lot of else is just from PvP that have random perks. I'm trying to look for... And here's my stamina helmet. So yeah, bunch of exotic helmets. And then my purple helmets. A lot of the purple stuff, when I'm playing with, like, for example, my girlfriend, I do give away a lot since I wasn't really trying to fill my stash up too much with purple stuff. But now since the kinetic nerf, the purple stuff is probably worth running more than exotic. And then my materials, got some alloys. I'm saving up uh, Marauder heads and normal Rattler heads for crafting, forging uh, Hunter Vision helmets. Got a legendary ingot, need two more to make a legendary piece of gear. I'd probably be, probably go for a backpack. Some crafting materials. I'm probably going to give away these gyroscopes. Saving up Crusher Flesh to give to other people like my girlfriend for their questing. Auto loaders I'm probably also going to give away or sell because I don't really craft anything. Absolutely anything. Then I have a bunch of Ledium which I'm using for forging to make, to make exotic um, ingots. But right now, after this patch... Exotic armor is pretty useless to craft, so I may as well sell all this Ledium, honestly. Only really reason to go for exotic gear is, I don't know, basically a flex, I guess, because right now you don't need anything more than purple. Meteor cores. I save up meteor cores because my perfect, my craft, my most favorite recipe for backpacks is four meteor cores. You make two stacks of two meteor cores and you can get the all items weight reduction plus backpack capacity. Saving up Sav Savage Marauder Flesh also to give away to friends or I'm saving it for the Zeus Be another Zeus Beam maybe. Miniature reactors, I was also saving up for backpack crafts, but I don't really enjoy the the other perk that the mini reactors can give, which is stamina regeneration. No delay for stamina regeneration during storm. So, um, smart mesh for crafting drills. Hydraulic pistons for crafting um, oil pump beacons. Aluminium also for oil pump beacons. Cables for for drills, and that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much the stash, boys. So I can run through it real quick. I can sort it by by rarity and give it a little scroll down.
hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'll give it a, a scroll back up. <laughs> Just why not? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys that watch my videos enjoy seeing what my stash is looking like since you don't watch my Twitch, my Twitch channel. And if you don't watch my Twitch channel, I definitely recommend you come check me out. I'm probably live as you see this video. I'm live playing this game every single day. And yeah, that's the stash, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed once again. And I'll see you, I'll see you on Twitch. Or I'll see you next time in the next video. Peace.